Deer Ridge. My name's Alan Zanas. I'm Maddie Prescott. Today is January 8th, 2019. Throughout the month of January, we are focusing on Habit 5, Seek First to Understand, to understand, Then to Be Understood. It is, it is important to listen to other people's ideas, feelings, and try to see things from their viewpoints. Practice listening to others without interrupting and see, and when they are speaking, practice full body listening. Do you feel like you're a good listener? How do you model good listening habits? Teachers, please remember to post a question in your classroom each week and take time to talk or write about the question with students. The first NEHS meeting of the new year will be this Thursday at 7.15 a.m. in room 131. NEHS is sponsoring a blanket drive for the homeless beginning Friday, January 11th and ending Friday 18th. Begin bringing in a gently used or new blanket of any size to your homeroom teacher. The classroom with the most blankets will win a hot chocolate party. Did you know that the Maricopa County School Superintendent visited our school? If you don't know who he is or what he does, he is the person who oversees all public schools in our, co our country. He came to see what Canyon Ridge is all about and, and he was very impressed. Take a look for yourself. My name is Steve Watson. I'm the Maricopa County School Superintendent. And this morning we're at Canyon Ridge Elementary in the Dysart District. And I love what they do here. I love the intentionality with which they bring outside groups in to work hand in hand with the teachers in providing authentic experiences from the real world for their students. Let's find out how they do it. We believe that um, it truly takes a village uh, to uh, help the kids learn and be successful in everything that they do. So we have a strong partnership with AAUW, with AWIM, with Arizona SciTech. We have community partnerships and we leverage the expertise of our parents to come in and also help. My favorite part of what I do here at Canyon is I have the ability to teach them, but um, it's unstructured in here. So they can come in with their ideas, or I can help them come up with ideas, and they can just run with it. We have so many different materials up here. They can reuse parts of other things. Um, they can create parts if we don't have it with our 3D printer. It really allows for that creativity and their critical thinking to shine on a daily basis. I find the Depo Lab to be adventurous because uh, some kids actually do modules that they would never think of themselves doing and then when they get to a point where they have success I get some yahoos and yes I did it and it's just really exciting to hear that from the kids going through things that they've never seen before or never have done before. Uh, we do have an amazing uh, partnership with AWIM, A World in Motion. They come through, we have supplies that are donated from uh, General Motors, and in fifth grade we get to design something called a gravity cruiser. And so the kids learn um, higher level science, conversation, engineering, and the retired gentlemen come in and they help them design and build a toy product that is totally driven by um, gravity. We go through the process of creating a portfolio so that they can go back and see what they've created every month, and we want them to improve on what they've designed sometimes with the help of those who are at the team with them because good questions they say I created something and it's great and I'm just gonna leave it right there but we always can improve what we um, everything can be better happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear wonderful person that's having a birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Today we'd like to wish happy birthday to Joseph B in third grade, Madeline E in fourth grade, Afton B in fifth grade, Leah L in eighth grade, and Claire S in kindergarten. Have a great day. Today for lunch we'll be having popcorn chicken with roll. Macaroni and cheese, turkey and cheese jack, some butter sandwich with mozzarella string cheese, and crackers with a variety of milk and water. That'll do it for this edition of Cougar News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge.
pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, thriving with just powers from the descent of the governed. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Have a great day, Canyon! 